Hello, I'm Matt, and today I'm going to show you the different ways we have of managing overtime within Timeware. The most common method is where the manager has to go into the software first to approve the hours, and this is what's something that we call overtime approval. You can see on the to-do list we have these two options here. One is your time and a third, and one's the time and a half. If you click into the time and a half, and you'll see that there's four instances of overtime here um, waiting to be approved or declined. If you want to do just one at once, you can right click on the one that you want, block, authorise and change it to approved. So if you come into the employees adjustment screen now, you can see that the overtime on the Monday is showing as green, which means it's been approved. You can also approve the, the overtime from within here. If you right click, authorisation, approved. The same again, if you want to decline the overtime, you just click on declined. If you're wanting to change the value of overtime they're getting paid for, you can click into the bookings on the day, scroll down to the bottom and click on the overridden section and then in here you can reduce or increase the hours. Once they've been adjusted there you can again right click, authorise and approve. We can also set the shifts up so the overtime gets paid automatically. So a good example of this is uh, anybody who works a Sunday, the system will automatically pay them at double time rather than the manager needing to approve those hours. A new feature within Timer 2025 is the overtime import spreadsheet we've developed. So what this allows you to do is export your current awaiting decision overtime into this spreadsheet and then you can make your changes within here. So I say you want to approve some, decline the others or if you want to actually change the values like we showed before. So you do all this within this one spreadsheet. And then once you're happy with that, you save your changes away. And we have a script that can run, which will import all these on, in, in for you on mass. It just saves a bit of time rather than you needing to go through the software one by one and make the changes.